Hello friends, Christopher Manti here. And I know we have a Bible study coming up tonight. Um, Jake is gonna upload it to the app as usual, but I felt uh, the Lord speaking to me and I felt I would share it um, with you all right now. It's not really a Bible study, it's just a quick word. Um, it's just with all a lot of things that are going on, obviously we're preparing uh, here, we're at my local church, Iron Faith Fellowship, in my very modern office of cinder blocks. Um, just kidding, Lord, we love that. <sighs> that we're preparing to show a, a film tomorrow, Sheep Among Wolves, Volume 2. And um, so I previewed it, and it's very powerful. And it's just a lot of things that have been happening the past couple of weeks, you know, my personal walk and other, maybe yours, is this um, constant reminder, I guess you'd call it, from the Holy Spirit to be light, to be light and to not fear to shine and to not fear the dark, um, to know we have complete and total victory. Um, but it's about uh, maturity, basically. And so, if you're watching through End Time Church, there's a lot of folks who are, have not made any type of commitment. They're on the periphery, and this is not, has nothing to do with this church or anything like that. It's just the fact of the symptom of the problem. You, I can tell you a thousand different groups this applies to, um, where folks will check in and maybe they say they you know, or part of this, but they never actually do anything about it, or they never actually step out, they never actually take a step in faith, they never, uh, we never actually contribute time, money, effort, um, anything that would, could be measured, uh, to growing or helping to grow the kingdom of God, or to disciple believers, or what have you. Anyway, so I think that's all uh, a function of not shining the light that's within us, because we should all readily acknowledge that Jesus is far more than able, um, period. Okay, so this has just been what's on, on my spirit. Uh, Mark chapter 4, the Lord Yeshua said, Is the lamp brought in to be put under a basket or under a bed? Isn't it to be put on a lampstand? For there is nothing hidden that will not be revealed, and nothing concealed that will not be brought to light. If anyone has ears to hear, let him hear. Pay attention to what you hear. By the measure you use, it will be measured to you, and more will be added to you. For whoever has, more will be given to him, and whoever does not have, even what he has will be taken away from him. And then Romans chapter 13, starting at 11 to the end. Besides this, you know the time. It is high time. It is already the hour for you to awake. Wake up from sleep because our salvation is nearer than when we first believed. The night is nearly over, the day is near. So let us discard the deeds of darkness and put on the armor of light. Let us walk with decency as in the daytime, not in carousing and drunkenness, not in sexual impurity and promiscuity, not in quarreling or jealousy, but put on the Lord Jesus Christ and do not make plans to gratify the desires of the flesh. This is obviously not a new problem. The Roman church was going through it and had to be corrected. And we need it today, right now, in America and the West and in every nation. I don't pretend to know the state of the church in every nation of the world. Um, but we need to shine. And the time has come. Time for fear is over. 
the time to unite is here. Um, put away the old man and his desires. And that includes quarreling, fighting, backbiting, on and on. What did we just, what did we just read? Quarreling and jealousy. That is a huge, huge issue right now in the church. We've got to stop. We've got to grow up. We've got to do it fast. Um, the day draws near, indeed. The night is almost spent. That means the day of the Lord is near. Behold, the day of the Lord is near in the valley of decision. So, let us be serious about our faith, sold out for Christ, no more halfway, preaching to myself, okay? Um, put it away, whatever you must put away. We can't cheat God. Everything's going to come to light. So if we're the church, we're told in Revelation, the church is the, a lampstand. Seven churches are the seven lampstands. So why would he give us a light to not be put on the lampstand? It's to provide the light to yourself and to others. So you can see, so we can see in the dark. And the light shine the brightest when the time is the darkest. So don't worry and forget all these lies from the enemy and from humans, fellow man, uh, about what qualifications you do or don't have. God qualifies. You're fully qualified. You're fully called, and you have a destiny. I prayed this morning that I would come in to my destiny, and that's it. Nothing, nothing less. Because God has a plan. He does. This is Christianity 101. So when are we going to walk in it? And stop worrying about these things. He knows all the rest of the story. He knows what we need. He knows we need to eat, drink, have shelter, and food, and all the rest. And we need, and our and our families uh, need our support. All these things. He knows all this. So, let your light shine. Uh, it's about time. It's about time. And so, if you're feeling this, great. Uh, if you agree, say amen. And hopefully. Um, if you're one of the many that are, let's say, on the Antine Church group, in the Antine Church app, on Armageddon News, I only mention these, or Wings of the Eagle, I mention these things because I know, uh, personally, I can see the numbers, I can see the, the data. Uh, there are so many who are allegedly interested or on the team, but don't make themselves known. They don't support, they don't share, they don't... Um, we're not doing what we're supposed to do. Behave as a family. Behave like a family is supposed to, the family of God, and never be ashamed. So let's do it. If you're not in fellowship for whatever reason, please show up Monday nights and interact. It's not an option to be a lone ranger, to sit at home and not be in fellowship with believers. It's just not an option from God. It's, you're in rebellion, if that's you. And I know it because it was me. So, wake up. High time to wake up. Let's get going. Get moving. There's great things that the Lord wants to do with you, in you, and through you. Just let Him shine. Don't make, as another translation would say, don't make provision for the flesh. Don't even plan on making it happy. Walk in the Spirit. Live in the Spirit. Breathe in the Spirit. Bear the fruits of the Spirit. Have the sword of the Spirit with you, in you, in you, at all times. All right, that's it. I hope the message was received. In Jesus' name, I bless you. May the Lord keep you and lift you up as you exalt Him in every moment and every breath. Hope to see you tomorrow night for the film. Uh, whether you're local, I'll see you here at church. If not, uh, we're going to try to stream it uh, along with the uh, FAI page uh, or Joel Richardson's YouTube channel, some way or another, we'll try to do that. If not, just get to it one of those ways. And um, I think it's going to really start this unification or move it along uh, with the global body of Christ who's ready to really pave the way for the return of the Lord. And right, so just uh, selfless, selfish, whatever, plug. Um, 
Okay, Fleet of the Mountains is my book. It's just been released, or I guess not till September 1st, I'm saying, but you can order it right now. Uh, you can go to fleetofthemountainsbook.com, and it's all about the church's responsibility. The mature church in the end times is going to witness for the Lord Jesus without fear of death, uh, the blood of the Lamb, the word of our testimony, right? And didn't love their lives when faced with death. Well, this is going to be the expression of that when we are helping Israel, literally on the ground um, during those days. And not only is that a nice thing to have, we are responsible for doing it because there is no one else. May we all say, here I am, Lord, send me. All right, fleetofthemountainsbook.com. Or you can go right to Amazon, pre-order the Kindle now uh, or the paperback and get it out to you. If you want a digital copy, I can do that as well right through the website, Wings of the Eagle page. It's 10 bucks no matter how you want it, basically. I think Amazon paperback is like 14 because they need to print it and we got to cover that cost too. Anyways, that's it. Love you all. See you soon.